welcome back to Red Ted Art. We've got another super simple pinch pot for you. Now these pumpkins are perfect for Thanksgiving. Of course you can make a Halloween version, just draw in some quirky, spooky Halloween faces and you have a Halloween pumpkin as well. So we're gonna start off with a lump of clay. This is a lump that kind of fits into my hand nicely. I think that's good. I've got a little bit extra on the side in case I need a little bit more, you often do. So first I'm gonna just knead it a little bit just to soften it and make it easier to turn into a pinch pot. It's time to turn it into a pinch pot. And it's the point about a pinch pot is that you're literally pinching the pot into the, the, the clay. Top tips, don't make the walls too thin and also lift off your bowl every so often off the surface to avoid sticking. Just smooth it all down, use a little water if you need to, and then let's shape it into a pumpkin. Basically, you need to squeeze the top and the bottom in, a bit like with our apple pinch pot if you've seen that before. Then smooth it all off. Now let's make a little stalk for my pumpkin. Like it's a sort of a triangular shape you'll need for this. We want to attach it. What you're gonna to have to do is cross hatch it here. We're gonna shape it a bit more once it's on. Cross hatch it, cross hatch it. Add some water and here some water and then a squeeze together. Here we go. And then I'm gonna just smoothen it down. You really don't want it falling off once it's on. So make sure and it's smooth. You can always make the distinction again between the two afterwards, but let's just get the connected. I think that's quite well connected. Make sure it's well connected at the bottom. You can always use a knife or some tools to pat it down. Great practice for learning to connect clay. Just differentiate it. There we go. Done. Isn't that simple? Now take some water and smooth over any cracks and let dry fully. I'm going to use these gloss enamel paints because I really like them and I have them and they're a good colour. Um, but you can use acrylics or you can mix um, a little bit of uh, glue into normal paints that should give it um, that plastic tea sheet. And here it is finished, perfect for Thanksgiving and some little treats. Or why not draw in some jack-o'-lantern, little eyes and mouth, and then you can use it for Halloween as well. Super simple, super fun. Hope you have a go. Bye.